you are not perfectly well that at the moment there's a huge number of unreliable projects that have been created solely with the goal to raise funds and disappear by deceiving the investors. My name is Tommy and I'm here to enlighten you on which projects to be considered by analyzing them right here on the video. I earned 300 Nino, which is like $6, just by winning one Guild War match in just a couple of minutes. Nineko officially launched a big update on Guild Wars. A few days ago, when I was reading news on DSSC News, I suddenly saw this. Nineko's taking FPR mean 100%. What the F? Can you believe it? 100% mean FPR. At first, I didn't believe it. But when I looked at the project, gameplay, techonomics, team, everything was okay. The development team has many years of experience looking at the way the project is operated. I see that this team also seems professional and enthusiastic about the project. The proof is that I see the game is very closely following the roadmap. I'm also curious to invest a little. Oh my god. Gameplay is really addictive. Making money is so easy. Just hang up and watch the cut beat the money will flow into your pocket like crazy. I realized this game has a huge potential and I decided to invest 20,000 Nino, which is like $400 in three months pool to see the 100% mean APR staking. Can you guess how much you bring back from 20,000 Nino in just a week of staking? Let me show you. With 20,000 Nino, in the last one week, I have earned 430 Nino equivalent to a $10 here. Very prestigious. In general, I think at this time of a forward downtrend market, finding a safe haven and still receiving daily profits like this is so good. When I was a newbie, I saw a lot in AMA groups. Also looking forward to next month where there's one very big update in the latest version. I definitely agree that this is a very, very big update. With lots of features that have been added by the developers, Guild Wars, New Gene Cards, Reborn, and Arena New Season. First, the Guild War. This will be the place where the guild owner show their calculations and tactics to bring the most benefits to the guild and the members. I earned 300 Nino, that's like $6 just by winning one guild match in a couple of minutes. Also, I get 1,500 more guild coins. This guild coin can also summon NFT cards. A good gin should cost a few BNB. Next, and I think this is also the most awaited feature, new gin cards. You know what? This card just updated. The market is super rare. It can only be created from Reborn with a probability of 10%. So the price of a new gene card is very valuable. The lowest card price is 0.5 BNB. The highest is around 100 BNB. Oh my god. This update will have five new gene cards. Chemistry, Barbarian, Pencil, Swordfish, Fire Arrow. Each gene will have one class, different skills, but the similarity is extremely powerful. I think I'll probably get myself a new gene card to change my life. Maybe because of the new gene cards, the developers decided to reopen the Reborn. But please note that the Reborn fee this time is more expensive. This is because the new gene cards have got more value. And these cards can only be reborn three times, guys. So please be careful with your decision. Are you ready for the Guild Wars? Download now on Nineko.com. Nineko, play, battle, and together. Well, I will finish the review on the project Nineko on Media Resources. I hope that this video has given you adequate information to know on whether to invest in the project or not to invest. Thank you so much for watching my videos. See you next time.